Hey, Decide Destiny crew, Carl Spritis here. Thanks for joining me for another Decide Destiny daily dose. Decide to filter the advice. As you go up the, sta- the stairs, go up the ladders, as you succeed, as you get more and more passionate about the gifts that you bring to this planet, about the value, about the, you know, your service and your skills, and you get, you know, you get a bit louder. You, you ask for a bit more eyeballs, a bit more attention. You ask for a little bit more um, of a contribution or a, or a referral and those sorts of things and you kind of expand yourself just as your heart every single beat your heart is expanding 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 so as you expand your reach you expand your brand you expand the services that you're showing up here every single day to commit to one thing that you'll notice very early on is that you're going to start getting some crit- criticism some of it constructive some of it jealous some of it just shocks you because you realize what that person's frame of reference in their mind is. So you just have to be very, very aware as you start. And criticism, I heard this great uh, quote, I can't remember where I heard it from, but I was just talking about how criticism really is kind of like that, 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 you know, that ringing phone. It's that, 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 that announcement that you are actually starting to hit your momentum. You're starting to hit you know, you're, you're starting to pound the curve enough. You're starting to, to have enough activity and passion and consistency, you know, because you get, oh, you know, hey, you've sent me this message before or um, you've sent two emails in one week, two email campaigns in one week and, oh, you know, not that I've had those specific criticisms, but, you know, that starts to tell you, oh, great, well, I'm passionate about my brand. I think I've got something to give here. I would rather give it and then you make the decision than not give it at all. I'd rather not hold on like as a Van Gogh or any of these incredible artists or incredible people in the past that had so much, you know, I'd rather actually experience the connection and the value and the, the joy and the, the light that my gifts are giving that person whilst I'm here alive, whilst my heartbeat is still beating. I'd rather experience that now rather than you know, someone find it a hundred years later. So, and for me, that just makes sense. So just be aware because as you as you start to, to to get out there, you start to get people's criticisms. And like I said, they could be constructive. They could really genuinely care about you. They'll have their frame of reference. They'll have their understanding of what they think is right and wrong and how to go about things. But there's a few simple tips that I want you to be aware of. Firstly, watch their eyes when they're giving you the criticism. Watch their eyes. We're, we are spiritual beings. We can see, we can tell, we can pick up, look deep into their eyes when they give you that information. Is there a little bit of jealousy? Is there a little bit of self-doubt? Or is there, is there a little bit of guilt as to the fact that they don't have anything that they're as passionate about? Or maybe they you know, feel like they haven't done enough or they feel like you're actually pointing a mirror in front of their face, which often is the case, and actually calling them out on their own dreams that they haven't actually you know, spent enough time with. So you really have to look in their eyes. When they're giving you that criticism, look deep into their eyes, look into their soul and verify where that's coming from. Is it coming from a place of love in the heart? Or is it coming from a place of fear or regret? Be really aware of that. Because then you're going to have to work out which bits of criticism you actually put a boundary. And you say, look, I understand that you're, that you're looking out for me here. However, I actually am committing so much of my energy and so much of my time to this dream and I actually only need people that are going to back me and support me right now. I believe that we're friends, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, are you going to pull for me like I'm going to pull for you? Are you going to support me like I'm going to support you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. I just wanted to make sure that we were on the same page with that. All right, so you've got to find those people out, you know, the people that maybe come from with a bit of jealousy or a bit of guilt or a bit of trauma or a bit of emotion and, and, you know, that's, that's really what a lot of people are really experiencing in this life. They're looking at you, they're listening to you, but they're really listening to what their cognitive bias agrees with. They're really listening to what, they're not experiencing you. Most people aren't. As a photographer, you, you, you actually experience someone else. As an artist, you know, you can experience someone else, you know. As an actor, the, you know, these different sort of careers, but most people don't experience other people. They experience the mirror of that person, the reflection of that person, all right? And, that, and that's what they see themselves in that person. They see parts of themselves in that person. Right? And they're not thinking about you, they're thinking about their own experience. So be aware of that. Now the second thing that you really got to be aware of 
is that when you're going and you're, you're getting some constructive criticism, look at their life. Are they where you want to be? Are they the flagship, you know? So if you've got a goal to be an incredible tennis player, you know, and your Uncle Bob, who <laughs> has a big beer gut, uh, doesn't do sport anymore, is telling you, oh, nah, mate, you only need to practice like, you know, twice a week, you'll be right. Is that the person you want to listen to? You know, so verify who you're listening to. Is it a person who's done it, been there, done it, got the shirt? Or is it a person who maybe just wants to cast out their opinion? And that's fine, you know, they want to cast out, the, you know, the people are just going to, you know, regurgitate whatever, whatever information they have. They might have heard it in an article, they might have read it somewhere, it might have been some crappy bit of information that they just regurgitate and they actually feel value because they can give you information. Now whether that information is valuable or not is the bigger question. Just be aware of that. I really vet who I'm getting the criticism and taking advice from. Even if they're super, super um, successful in one area of their life, money, health, um, you know, uh, contributions to the community, whatever it is, but they're giving me advice in an area that they're not as successful in, even though they're really successful in other areas, I will vet that constructive criticism before I even consider for a second adopting it or integrating it into my life. So those would be the two steps, guys. Look into the eyes, look into the heart, look into the soul. That's what I do when I do soul gazing photography. I look into the soul. Look into the soul of the person when they're giving you that criticism to find out is it coming from a place of guilt, regret, and jealousy. And then vet and verify who's giving you the criticism. And are they giving you criticism or constructive criticism, you'd hope, in an area that they've got down pat? And third, are they even wanting that? They might have that area down pat, but they might not want to grow that area anymore. They might not want to be going in the direction you're going in. It's very hard to take criticism from people that don't want to actually do the things that you want to do because they're not going to want to sacrifice and go through the pain that you're willing to put yourself through to achieve those, those visions. So make sure you're vetting the people that are casting pearls, people that are casting their opinions, guys, okay? Anyway, hope you enjoyed that one. Share it around with anyone else you think might, uh, you know, appreciate this or, or take something away from this, someone who maybe is really going for it. Anyone that's going for it, anyone that's going for success, that's just motivated and has people in their life that's shackling them or pulling them back or trying to push them down, share around with them. And as always, guys, remember, decide your destiny. Cheers.